Protest. Yes. To neck. Having written so many letters to them, mm. to remind them that they cannot increase tariff without meeting with Nigerians. Mm -hmm. That the process of adjusting tariff in every tariff methodology requires that they should meet with all stakeholders, oh, yes. including labor. That we don't know where this current tariff is coming from. And that neck. It's not oblivious of the fact that Nigeria is wallowing in power poverty. Oh, yes. Nigeria is down the line as one of the countries in the world that are poor in terms of power supply. That while the whole world has a global index of 1 million, mega, 1 million people for 1,000 megawatts, Nigeria is having 4,000 megawatts for 200 and something million people. Now what? If what Nigeria is generating today is not enough for Lagos alone. And it is bad enough for you now to tell us that some Nigerians are bigger than the others. It is bad enough for you to say some Nigerians will get 20 hours and other Nigerians will get no hour. Even in the Dena Pattern, South Africa, such has never happened. That magic you are using to give some people 20 hours, use it to give everybody in Nigeria 20 hours. Nigerians are saying no to discriminatory power allocation. Are we saying no? Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. You can't give any part of the country, any part of the state, any part of the local government 20 hours and give orders one hour. It is on our side. We are here to interface with NEC. If they don't know how to run the power sector, if they are ignorant of what is happening globally in power, they should seek help. The labor movement is available to assist them to tell them how to improve the power situation in Nigeria. Unknown to you all, Mambila has the capacity to give Nigeria 3,600 megawatts only. And it is what we are calling in the present day renew, renewable energy. No health hazard. Yes, sir. That's true. Through, generated through water. Unfortunately, again, Hydro uh, Mambila was, feasibility study was concluded by IBB some 30 years ago. Is it not a shame to this country? Yeah. It's a shame. That almost 30 years, one power plant that could have given us over 3,000 something megawatts, which Nigeria is currently generating, we have not been able to build a power plant. I'm saying that it takes an average of three to four years to build a new power plant. What is Nigeria waiting for? I'm saying that uh, other power plants, other sources of power, like Zungeru, can give you 900 megawatts. It is there by hydro. I'm telling you that there are a lot of uh, sources of coal in Enugu, Kogi, Benue, Nasarawa. A power plant in South Africa under ESCOM generates about 2,000 megawatts through coal. Nigeria has abundant deposit of coal. Oh, yes. Nothing is happening. I'm telling you that the heat generated in a Adam, in a, uh, uh, um, Yola, 
and Bronu is enough for us to generate enough power through solar that will take care of about four or five states. I'm telling you that you can install wind turbines in Castina and other areas because of the availability of wind in such areas. These are what all these things I'm mentioning are mainly you know renewable energy sources. Instead of building power plants that you need to construct gas pipelines and gas pipelines will easily be destroyed, will even be vandalized. There are over 30 river basin authorities, some have the capacity to give us even 30 megawatts, 40 megawatts, if you install turbines in them. I'm telling Nick today that if they experiment this in the next four years, the next three years, Nigeria will face power sufficiency, energy sufficiency. Businesses will try. Next, you not to stop increasing tariff on only 4,000 megawatts. Year in, year, year out. out. Nigeria cannot no. develop with 4,000 megawatts. No way. You cannot develop industrially with 4,000 megawatts. Some countries of the world, uh, America and uh, China and others, are talking of over 1 million megawatts of electricity. Mm. And we can't be talking of 4,000 megawatts. So NEC should seek the right thing to be done, not tariff. In a country where the inflation is biting hard, even the foreign currency is getting down, NEC can pretend to know that things are difficult. NEC should change their own policy of increasing tariff. Unknown to some of us here, NEC's policy of increasing tariff is based on inflation and the value of the currency. So if NEC, with what they have done now, they have created inflation. They will still go back to increase tariff because of inflation, which they created. Can you see how people are benefiting from their own wickedness? Right. So, comrades, we are here to make this statement clear that we are not just saying don't increase tariff, don't increase tariff. You can't increase tariff for nothing. Nigeria should work with the movement, labor movement, to see how we can improve the power being generated today. And if that is done, there will be availability. And the main source is there should be availability before you have accessibility, before you have affordability. Oh. Any commodity that is not available cannot be affordable. Oh, yes, yeah, so that is where we are today. Nigerians are talking with one mind that this country cannot survive on 4,000 megawatts. Yeah, sure. For over 20 years, nothing has happened. Yes. We need to work together with all the agencies concerned rather than go into campaign of calumny you know, to attack the labor movement. Let us meet together, let us gather together and see how we can develop this country. If there is no power plant to be brought into the grid by next year, we will still be on 4,000 megawatts. If there is none to come in by the next two years, Nigeria will remain on the next 4,000 megawatts. Even the next three years, even the next four years, we challenge NEC and the power utility companies to tell us the power plant they want to, you know, commission this year. Let them tell Nigerians the power plant they want to commission next year. Let them tell Nigerians the power they want to commission next two years. The one they want to commission next three years. The one they want to commission next four years. If not, there will be no improvement. It is not by magic. You can't say let there be power and there will be power. Nigerian government, Nigerian people, the private sector, individuals should first the fact today that if you are not building a power plant today and that the gestation period for building a power plant is about three years. If you are not building anyone today, there is no one you can commission in the next three years. We are not here for grammar, but we have come here to make a statement. People were asking me, how long can we uh, maintain this picketing? This picketing, we are here, we have made a statement. We we'll touch other areas, TCN, DISCO, and Minister of Power, incidentally, they are together with this year, to make the same statement. We are not here to fight anybody. But we are the people paying, and we can tell you that it is biting us. The regime of, of tax is getting too much. In Nigeria today, let's first of all commend the president for suspending the cybercrime tax. However, we want him to abolish it. When you suspend something, you can recall it tomorrow. That's it. We want him to abolish it entirely. Yeah. In Nigeria, there is Okada tax. Before you put out your card in the morning, people don't collect from you. 
There's wheelbarrow tax. Vegetable tax. Are you the yummy? Yes. There is radio tax. There is television tax. There is pure water tax. Vegetable. There is bicycle tax. There is stamp tax. There is motor tax. From here to there, you see the toll gates here and there. They are all tax. If, you, if there is market men, market women tax. Before you open your shop in the morning, you go pay. Yeah, well, so, are you hearing me, comrades? Yes, yeah. The tax are too much. Mm. The tax are more than our earning. Mm. So, we can't continue this way. You know, there's a quality need for all the taxable items to be reviewed. This one is to Federal uh, Inland Revenue Authority. Very soon, we are going to pay a cost visit to them. Comrades, have you lie? No, we no. 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 you, you, can, you can't tax our housing allowance. Mm. If you do it, you want us to live under the bridge. Yes. You can't tax our transport allowance. If you do it, you want us to trade to work. You can't tax our medical allowance. If you do it, you are telling us that when we are sick, we should die. Comrades, the taxes are so much. And it is only the worker that is paying tax. The worker from paying, pay as you earn. As you, they are paying your salary, they are deducting your own, you don't have to trade. Corporate Nigeria. They are giving them tax waivers. Are you hearing me? Yes. They are giving some of them import waivers. So, comrades, we need to re-examine re all this for this country and for the betterment of the workers. Who are the people who are earning the real wages? Whose wages are multiplying the economy? Because when they earn that, they have small money, they buy it. They buy products. And those products, industries will thrive. And that's why we're asking for salary increase so that we can eat. Enter Mutu and go back. Comrades, solidarity forever. I will hand over the mic to my TUC counterparts so that they will equally address you before we move on to other areas. Our destination is more. You can see that Nigerian workers are very peaceful people. We have not insulted anybody. Oh, yes. and we don't intend to. But we have to make our statement. Who owns the land? Now we we own the land. Who owns the land? We we own the land. Solidarity Um, we have taken input from what you have said relating to affordability of the tariffs that have been issued by the Commission. Uh, we have listened to you, we have listened to the concern of Nigerians and will make adequate keys and representation to the policy side on the issue of affordability of tariffs. Uh, we also note very clearly what uh, Comrade Ajero mentioned uh, about diversification, about energy sources. Um, I'm glad to say that uh, the new Zingeru 600 mega or 700 megawatt power plant is already uh, on the uh, online, generating over 600 megawatts. And we are also making a lot of effort to run, ramp up solar generation in such a manner that tariffs can begin to come down. I also note that uh, he made remarks about the banks uh, sitting on the boards of distribution companies. The Commission has earlier given deadline to all the banks to divest all their shares and exit from distribution companies because we want proper co-investors sitting in the boards of those companies and so on. So all the points you have made are very apt and very clear and we thank you for your contribution and we'll go back to the drawing board and see what we can do about the concerns of not only the comrades here but also... I, 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 okay. Okay. Let, yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. On. On. Okay. Let, 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 let me. Let me. Let me. Let me speak on estimated billing. 
let me speak. Okay. Let, okay. Let, 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 let me speak on estimated billing. The Commission has issued a number of orders on capping estimated bills by all discos, limiting how much they can bill you. But I think on a more on on a, on on a, on a better um, better news for the Nigerian consumers is that uh, President Bola Tinubu has approved the presidential metering initiative, giving deadlines to meet our all customers in Nigeria. So that that you know. I, 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 are the meters, are you aware? I, uh, any, any, let me explain. Any any disco any disco that tells you to buy meter report to the commission. Okay? Any any, any Yes. Okay. And Okay. <laughs> and any any disco that bills you above the caps issued by the commission, report to any of our forum offices or report directly to us. Okay. <laughs> yes. Any distribution company that bills you above the caps issued by the commission, report to our forum offices, report to our office here. And we'll do the need for. Eh? It's in our website and we publish it every month. The commission working with all stakeholders, especially consumer advocacy groups, will ensure that all Nigerians who have paid for meters actually get meters free. I just didn't mention the BMI. The okay. on, on, in, in, in respect of new power plants, the, the focus of the commission now is to make sure that ideal capacity that we have today is actually brought on, on, on track. If you look at Eggman today, 1,320, they're doing to make sure that they now uh, increase their operational capacity. Okay? So that's the focus of the commission for now. Thank you very much. Yes. So let me be forever. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then uh, we have come for Rivasa. That is our message. Solidarity. We have delivered our message to you, sir. And uh, we have interacted with you. We equally take exception to our picketing and your people who are in the office. You know, please, sir. You know, uh, if we are picketing here, uh, yeah. you know, it may result to another thing. Opening office any day of picketing makes it rowdy. You know, I was thinking that security men around would have informed you that if, if we are here, there is nobody here, we we'll go back. But to be picketing and people are in, you know, we we'll manage to control it today, sir. Let us see, let us allow you that opportunity of managing it yourself, sir. You know, we are not going to go beyond that, but we we'll have to wait for some minutes for the people who are working and the Nigerian workers you know, to come out and join us. So that we'll go. Thank you very much. Solidarity! Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Let's continue. Let them come down. Let them come down. All workers, we saw them through the window.